We are starting off the vlog on the very best way possible, ladies and gents. Low fuel, absolutely empty. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready for this trip, but we need coffee first. Yes, we definitely need coffee. <laughs> Mark his words, folks. you guys so it is time for an update we uh, stopped right now in Port St. Lucie and we came to the rest stop here in the middle of the turnpike I gotta tell you I went down we uh, did a rock paper we did a rock paper scissor John and I to see who was gonna go inside first and uh, dude the line inside for Dunkin Donuts was lit it was like out of this world crazy like something out of Disney World like no joke so I ended up having to settle for some morning lunchables and some blue monster so i just thought i would give you guys a quick update we're doing good so far we did have some eventful things take place on the drive over here about an hour into the drive out of south florida some guy starts honking you know honking at us on the side of the turnpike i'm like what the f is this guy what's his deal you know in south florida so people are they get pissed off because you cut him off and shit. but no lie the guy starts pointing at the back of the boat. I'm like, oh, geez, what happened now? Because I have like the worst experience with boats and shit flying off of it. Like, like my friend Chris can attest, we lose so much shit flying off the back, whether it be out in the ocean or or whatever. So let me take the camera real quick. This freaking cooler, which now is strapped down to the boat, was literally sitting up here. 75% to the side and literally only like the quarter of it was being held up by this motor right here So Mercury, thank you for being there. I appreciate you always coming through always turning on when I need you and uh, saving the fucking day because I gotta tell you that If that freaking thing would have come flying off of the boat it probably would have ruined the trip for John and I. I probably would have just told him, John, take me back home, bro. Take the boat if you want. I'm done. I ain't going nowhere. But that's just a quick update what's going on. We are on the road. It's beautiful. The weather's actually a lot chillier up here than it is in South Florida. When we left this morning, it was around 74. And up here, it's around 60. So it's a pretty nice change. I did look at the weather up in Gainesville, and it is 38 degrees. So, woo, I'm going to have to change when we get there because I'm in shorts and like a kind of like an Under Armour light, you know, long sleeve shirt. So it should be cool. Gonna go ahead and have my breakfast and I will catch you guys later. We live on the edge here. 10, 10 miles, edge. 10 miles to empty. We'll go 20 miles if we have to. <laughs> so that is the current update right now. We had to uh, pull off of the turnpike. We're down to 10 miles before we hit zero and uh, stall we're stranded, out. Yeah. stall out, you know. Apparently uh, we, uh, underestimated the towing capacity uh, how could we say that i don't know yeah it, it's wasting a lot more gas with the boat on the back than we could have ever thought but uh hopefully we'll find a gas station now we can so if things couldn't get any worse the gas station we find with five miles till we get to empty is closed 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 what the hell you guys so we are officially on the water now letting the Merc warm up it's been a while it's been a few weeks since we've taken her out but she uh cranked right up this uh road trip hasn't been nice to us i just realized the top to my motor is missing Jeez, gonna have to be uh see what's up with that
Oh, wait a minute. First, first fish, fish of the game. trip. Oh, Jay's got a crappie. Yay! Crappie. My first crappie. Yay! Day one. Off to success. Oh, that's. that's a nice crappie, too. That's a good one. That's a black, that's a black crappie, right? That's a black crappie. That's a black crappie, yeah? Oh, man. My first crappie, you guys. Damn. Look at that slab, son. Look at that slab. See? Dude, such a pretty fish. I know. They're beautiful. Hold look it right that. there. I've never caught one of these before. See why they call them specs, huh? Specs, man. Hey, baby. So we're gonna find out how good they taste tonight, right? Put it in the live well in the front. We'll keep them there. We're keeping them? Yeah. Aren't we gonna cook it? Cook them tonight? I'm down. Catch and cook? I thought that's why we were doing this. Yeah. Yeah, man. Let's do a little catch and cook tonight, guys. So let me show you real quick what we are using. We're here today, as you guys know. You guys saw well, John the whole drive. Like, we're with oh, Mikey Moser, Sawgrass Bassin. Little crappie. Jigs, it's like a little uh, crappie bait with a little blade at the back and a live minnow. But it's weird out here to get his first crappie and he's schooling everything. Oh, look at that. That's a big one. That's a slab, bro. What is that? A slab. <laughs> Second one of the day. Here we Good go. job, dude. Dude, I'm. John is, John is going to feed everybody. He's schooling I'm everybody. Feeding, I'm feeding everyone out here. Great right back where I had a bite, too. John is on his. That, there had to be a school right there. Oh, let's turn around. It's a good one. Dude, he's playing some drag. Listen to me, bro. Another one. And Julian and I still one. Yeah, we Is can't get fast? we can't no, get one to save our life, like, man. Oh, he's a chunk man, bro. Dude. Barely hooked too. John, right? killing the I game. Had a little bite I missed. It's probably that one. Number three. You know what? Here, just. Just take this rod. I'm gonna get the drone up. Yeah. Take it, is that is that the pity the the pity handoff? <laughs> hey, you want to use my rod? Here, use my rod, dude. Guys, number three. I'm filling up. Dude, I'm filling up the cooler over your, here. Your rod ain't working, oh, dude. Triples, bro. Go ahead. Take the luxury picture. Stand up there on the deck, <laughs> or like that way, so I can get you in the sun. You guys, tall fisherman Jay feeding feeding the homies out here. I got dinner for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Catch and cook. Catch and cook. Fish app rod. Woo! Oh, oh man. I got something. That's not your first crappie though, isn't it? First yeah. crappie or, yeah, yeah. or first fish today. Oh. Now watch it's a largemouth bass. Yeah. It's a crappie and it's a good one. Oh man. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> You got a fish on the end of drone footage. Oh my god. Finally, man. Been struggling, John was kind enough to uh you know do a charitable donation of the rod. Gave up with his rod, man. The wish app rod coming in clutch with the fourth caught crappie of the day. But take a look at the pattern on that. That was such an interesting bite. You were right the way that it actually took off with it. Like they you feel a bite and then boom, they like dog down. Don't give them any slack. <laughs> Fish on! Mike is on again. Don't lose this one. Woo! Don't lose it. I'm not gonna horse this one. No. Oh! Woo! All right. I got one, guys. There nice. you go, Mike. <laughs>
It's good. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get a few more bites, like to get a full, you know, breakdown on it. Come on, Mikey. We're on set. <laughs> Phone ringing. All right, you guys. So we are about ready to wrap up tonight's video. It has been an awesome day. We got over here. We got on the boat. Went out fishing, caught our first ever crappie, John and myself, and we decided to do a little bonfire catch and cook as you guys have seen the whole entire process. It's been a lot of fun out here, hanging out with Mikey, hanging out with the fam, it's been awesome. So I just took a quick little bite, but I definitely wanna get some more bites. I wanna get these guys taste tests on camera. So we're all gonna dig in now and enjoy this fish and tell you exactly what we think. All right guys, it's my turn to try the crappie. Now I'm gonna take a substantial piece Look at this piece right here. That is a nice size piece of crappie. Butter, garlic, seasoning. That is it over an open flame out in the middle of the woods. Here we go. Three, two. Mmm. Wow. That was good. It's pretty good, right? Really you know what I'm what I'm liking now as I as I eat it a little bit more, the barbecue feel that you get like on the right. back end. It, it kind of has like yeah, a smoked. Right. It gets it has that smoky taste to it. Mike, smoky you gotta taste. dig in, bro. You gotta try it. Very flaky, very flavorful. Cooking it over an open flame does give it a nice smoky flavor. It is amazing. All the hype about crappy, it, it's true. It's so good. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's good. Ooh. That is the snapper of the north. Wow. Finger licking good, huh? Finger licking good. <laughs> I saw that. that is awesome. That garlic tastes good. Dude, that is good. That's really good. Well, freshwater fish in general, I'm still not 100% convinced on, but I will say that the crappie, Very good. as of right now, will be ranked number one. Number uno. Stop. Numero uno I'm on the beast, freshwater guys. list. You guys have seen everybody's taste test. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We are here up north, North Florida, doing all kinds of freshwater fishing, hanging out with the YouTube squad. It's gonna be an absolute blast. If you guys are new to Bite the Bay Fishing, go ahead to subscribe now. Go ahead and check out my two friends back here. We got Sawgrass Bassin and Tall Fisherman Jay. If you haven't yet, go ahead and leave a thumbs up and we will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Oh